Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Sports Corner. Welcome to Art Rudner's video blog. As you can tell, my voice is starting to go on me. I don't know exactly what I have, but it's difficult to shake. And since I do have the old reading glasses on, you know it's time for my football picks for week number 14. Last week was a horrible week. I was 1-5. Uh, for the season, I'm again now under 500 at 36, 39, and 3. And my Karsh Karsh House Lock of the Week, where at one time I was 6 and 0, and then 7 and 1, I am now 7 and 6. Here's last week's sheet just to prove that I'm all on the up and up. And the only team I picked correctly was Wisconsin last week. Wisconsin deep did beat Nebraska. I thought they would win the game. I did not think that they would roll 70 points up on the Cornhuskers. Kent State, Alabama. Detroit, the Lions, and the uh, Chicago Bears, and also the Baltimore Ravens let me down. So let's just put this week, throw it away, shall we? Let's get to uh, this week's games. Uh, only one college game on the slate, and what a college game it is. It is the Navy, uh, a Naval Academy hosting the uh, Black Knights of the Hudson, the uh, Corps of Cadets, the Army. The midshipmen are a seven-point favorite in this game. Uh, Navy is the home team in this game, but it is played at a neutral site uh, in Philadelphia. I know Army does not have a very good team. I know Navy's better, but somehow I'm going with the Black Knights of the Hudson. I am going with Army taking the seven points. Then turning to the pro ranks on Sunday night, Sunday night football, the number one show in America, the most popular television show in America, features our own beloved Detroit Lions uh, at Green Bay. Uh, the Packers are a seven-point favorite over the Lions. I am taking Green Bay all day in this game, especially since the old weatherman, as George Cal used to like to say, is calling for uh, a lot of uh, snow during the football game itself. Obviously, with the Lions being an indoor team, uh, playing in inclement weather, who knows? Maybe that's the elixir they need. I'm not counting on it. I'm going with the pack. Chicago in another NFC North game is a two-and-a-half point favorite against the Minnesota Vikings. That game is being played in Minnesota. Maybe because Christian Ponder got to engage this, uh, this week to Samantha Steele. I'm not sure. I like Minnesota in this game, so I'm taking the Vikings with two and a half. I mean, I really, at this point, being under 500 again, I'm just flailing away here. But I do like the Vikings in that game. Another game, the New York Giants, the G-Men are hosting the New Orleans Saints. They're a four and a half point favorite. The G-Men are the Giants over the Saints. Uh, I like the G-Men in this game. I don't know what's going on with New Orleans. Uh, Drew Brees uh, was absolutely horrible. Uh, his last game threw five picks. Uh, his streak of consecutive uh, games with a touchdown pass was broken. Uh, maybe the Saints rebound uh, in NYC. I don't think it's going to happen. I like the G-Men. And then in a Monday night game, which probably should be the Sunday night game, but it's Monday night football. The New England Patriots are a three-and-a-half point favorite over the Houston Texans. The game is being played in Boston or in New England, and I like the Patriots in this game. I think quietly Tom Brady is putting together a great season and is seething after the Super Bowl, and I think that Tom Brady... Uh, and the uh, Patriots will make a statement against the Texans on Monday night. Now, my Karsh Karsh House Lock of the Week, and I am, had to go pro, and I feel pretty good about this pick, and probably I shouldn't, but the Atlanta Falcons are a three-and-a-half point favorite over Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. The game being played in Carolina, I am taking the Panthers. The Panthers getting the three-and-a-half. So, uh, so there you have it, uh, the Panthers with... Uh, uh, getting three and a half at home against Atlanta. That is my Karsh Karsh House lock of the week. So quickly, let's go over uh, this week's picks. Uh, Navy is a seven-point favorite over Army. The game being played in Philadelphia. I like the Black Knights of the Hudson. I'm going with Army over the Middies uh, in that game. Army getting seven. Green Bay hosting the Lions on Sunday night. Uh, I like the Pack all day. The Pack are giving the Lions seven points on that one. I go with Green Bay, especially, as I said, because it's supposed to be snowing during the game. Uh, Chicago is a two-and-a-half point favorite in a game being played against the Minnesota Vikings. This is obviously Chicago needs a win, but so does Minnesota to stay relevant. I like the Vikings getting two and a half in their own stadium. The New York Giants are hosting the New Orleans Saints uh, at the Meadowlands. It's a four and a half point uh, spread. The Giants giving the Saints four and a half. I like the G-Men in this game. I think the Saints are done, cooked, put them away. Nothing's going to happen in New Orleans this year. And uh, the Monday night game, I'm also picking the New England Patriots are hosting the Houston Texans. Houston is a three and a half point favorite. Uh, pardon me, I mean New England. The Patriots are a three and a half point favorite over uh, the Houston Texans. I like New England in that game. And then my Karsh Karsh House Lock of the Week. Atlanta is a three-and-a-half-point favorite over the Carolina Panthers. That game being played in Carolina. 
I like Carolina in that game to not only uh, cover the three and a half, but to actually win that football game. I don't know why. It's just a feeling in my bones. So uh, there you have it. Those are the picks. Remember, last week I was one and five, and for the season right now I'm 39 or 36, 39, and three overall. So hey, there's always a risk involved. So remember, this is for fun and amusement only. I'll see you very, very soon. I've got a theory about the Lions game against Green Bay on uh, Sunday Night Football. I'll share that with you uh, this weekend. Uh, that and so much more coming your way. I still have a feeling about Brent Bielema, too, that I'm probably going to get out sooner or later uh, within the next couple days. But until we meet again, have a safe and pleasant one, everyone. Enjoy your picks. I know I will. Hopefully I can rebound. Take care. We'll see. I'm Art Rugner for FoxSportsDetroit.com. Bye-bye.